All right, what's going on guys, this is uh, Light here, and I'll be honest with you, you can go by the title and stuff like that. This is actually going to be a nice, simple debate topic based around the Fate Field versus World of Element. And the thing about it is, it's that some people kind of already and stuff, oh, which one's better? Is it going to be World of Element or is it going to be Fate Field? And I'm here to actually answer that question and kind of elaborate upon what I believe is better. And honestly, I can tell you guys the answer right now. It's going to be Fate Field. But there's a there's many different reasons upon why I'm, go I'm saying that. And if you decide to stick around and stuff like that they hear me out then cool stick around to the near the uh the, 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 this, this entirety of this video sorry for the stuttering but anyways let's actually go over world of elements since this is kind of like the you know the newer edition and stuff like that aka the fate field version 2 as you can see it here with world of element it increases all you increases all your stats by 100 percent increases your hp but it also increases your critical hit chance to 100 percent but it also makes it where you cannot get debuffed or you cannot like lose your buffs in general if anything tries to remove it right so we keep all in mind so again you don't lose any buffs blah blah this blah blah that you get the point i don't need to repeat all that and with fate field right we get the uh the fate element we get the 100 stat boost you know i'm surprised it doesn't say the hp increase you know that that's a little surprising but it does increase the hp well, at least for what i've seen unless that's with the bubble i don't remember okay look i'm, I'm having a little bit of re-re moment but anyways we get the cost recovery speed and the ability power is boosted by 30 when enemy is in break right and the thing about it is is that that ability power thing kind of makes the difference and stuff up Upon the amount of damage you can do but i know some people may people may already it's like oh wait, wait, wait but you have the one that makes you crit all the time that is true however there are circumstances and stuff that you could put yourself under to still get yourself the 100 critical rate while still having the fate feel active which kind of makes that specific thing that gives to you a little obsolete especially if everybody else can do the exact same thing but then people are going to make the other claim it's like okay but you can get debuffed and lose your like you know your buffs and stuff like that and get just well debuffs if you have fate field again the same argument could be made it's that you can still use other things and stuff like that to make it where you can't get hit with debuffs and stuff like that and it's just based around like the circumstances that you're under and stuff like that so if you can not get affected by these some of these restrictions and stuff you can still hit some absurd amount of damage and stuff like that with the fate field just because the fact that's like you get the additional ability power and the thing about it is with ability power ability power actually scales with the stats that you have as well too so having that 30 ability power boost is well honestly pretty freaking good that takes like a big ability like say like for an example grand impact from a 120 so if you also have the mobius trophy it goes from 140 and if the target's broke that's additional 30 added to that putting it at 170 but then again when a target is broken just in general i believe if i'm not mistaken it's like 20 additional ability power that you do get so that puts grand impact at a whopping 190 and then other abilities and stuff like that it's a, it's the same concept itself so th in hindsight you're getting a 50 ability power boost just from that alone and that's not counting like the debuff fields and stuff you can put on the enemy as well too that can really total up that damage even more so however with like world of element if we just just go back to that yeah you do get the 100 percent crit you do get all this other things to kit but this the thing about it is it's like faith field still does it better under like you know certain circumstances and stuff like that however i'm not saying that the world element is bad it is honestly something I still use time for time because it's like one of those situational things and such. If I if I don't have the requirements and stuff like that under every other like aspect, then using World of Element still is better. However, if I meet all the other requirements to truly maximize my benefits using Fate Field, I'd rather use Fate Field instead because the damage is just better. You also get cost recovery as well too. Like that helps out a lot to kind of keep your costs going and such, especially if you're kind of a little low on it. I mean, there are monsters that can get you additional costs and stuff like that, but at the same time, Fate feel still does it better after, you know, this explanation and such. And to give you guys more of a point what I mean as well too, just a, one little tiny little thing I would like to point out is that Barracks over here increases your critical hit chance to 100 percent it's kind of goofy that like yeah i get a feel that stuff like that that you know increases crits 100 percent but there's also something in here that already does that for me however this does benefit everybody else who's not under the barracks and such however again it's like that that little thing right there just becomes obsolete for me and there are other things and besides barracks that could still increase your critical hit rate up to 100 so again with that being said it's like fate feel still does it better there are 
are, again, there are other things and stuff that exist that can also make it where you can nullify buffs, nullify deep, uh, well, no, not nullify buffs, like, ba basically the thing I just move a mouse over, and then also, like, the debuff aspect. But anyways, this video's been going on long enough to me to truly elaborate upon what is actually better. I know this is a really long video, but I know some people tend to want more of an explanation upon why a certain person, like, thinks that way, so that's why this video's that long. But anyways, this is Light here, and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, why don't you leave a like, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos just like this one. And also, since I don't really ask this a lot, why don't you hit that subscribe button? It's just something I tend to forget to ask. And you probably noticed, it, it, it was glowing a little bit of that rainbow stuff. But anyways, this is Light here, and I'll see you guys next time.